Hello mga matusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, igagayad ko kayo kung paano nyo ba isosolve yung problem solving dyan sa learning task number 3 ng mga modules ninyo. Pero bago ko simulan ang video na ito, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At ihit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Okay na. So, simulan na natin. A box is 2x minus 3 by, by x plus 5 and by 3x plus 1. So, what is the volume of the box if x equals 4? So, yung mga x daw natin dyan ay 4. Pag nakuha na natin yung mga values niyang tatlo, then we will solve the volume. So, unahin natin to, di ba? 2x minus 3. Yung x niya, papalitan natin siya ng 4 minus 3. O, kung nagtataka kayo, ma'am, bakit sa module namin iba? Iba talaga, mga anak, ha? Tinuturo ko lang yung procedure. Kayo pa rin ang magsusolve dyan sa module nyo. O, what is 2 times 4? You have there 8 minus 3. What is 8 minus 3? You have 5. So, ang value ng 2x minus 3 ay 5. How about this one? X plus a 5. So, uh, yung X nyo ay 4. So, 4 plus a 5 is how many? 9. So, ibig sabihin, yung X plus 5 nyo, ang value niya ay 9. Paano naman kapag 3X plus 1? Ang X mo ay 4 pa rin. So, 3 times a 4 plus 1. What is 3 plus a 4? Or 3 times a 4? You have 12 plus 1. You have 13. Now, since we know the value, alam naman natin na ang volume ay may formula na length times width times height. So, we have here 5 times 9 times 13. Okay, what is 5 times 9? 45 times 13. Oh, let's solve ha. 45 times 13. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry 1. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1. You have 13. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 4 is 4. So, you have 5. Add natin ha. And then 8. And then 5. So, ibig sabihin, ang volume nito at x equals 4 is 585. Okay? Now, for number 2, the formula for the area of a triangle is A equals base times height divided by 2. If the base B is equal to 12 centimeters and the height H is equal to 8 centimeters, what is the area of the triangle? So, ang gagawin lang natin is substitute lang natin siya sa formula na base times height divided by 2. Okay, tanggalin lang natin to. So, let's enter this one. You will have here, A is equal to base times height divided by 2. So, ano ba ang B mo? Ayan, 12. Ano ba yung H mo? 8. And then, copy mo lang tong over 2. So, what is 12 times 8? O, bakit dun napunta yun? Teka lang, ha? So, what is 12 times 8? O, dito natin gawin. 12 times 8 is 8 times 2, 16, carry 1. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1, 96. So, this will become 96 divided by 2. What is now 96 divided by 2? Let's solve. Mm, ilang 2 meron kay 9? Apat. 4 times 2, 8, 9... Minus 8 is 1, bring down 6, 16 divided by 2, you have, ah, tama, 16 divided by 2, you have 8. 8 times 2 is 16, so this is, excuse me, 0. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating uh, area ay 48, anong unit niya? Centimeter squared. O, oh, yan na, ang sagot ninyo dyan. O, oh, magkaiba tayo ng given, ha? Sundin lang ang procedure. Now, the length of the rectangle is x squared plus 3x minus 4. And then, the width is 6x plus 3. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? If you are going to draw the rectangle, di ba ganyan yan? Ang measure nito ay x squared plus 3x minus 4. Ito ay 6x plus 3. 
Alam naman natin na kapag perimeter ang hinahanap natin, ina-add natin yung mga sides. Diba? Lahat ng sides. So, eto, itong side na to, since sila ay rectangle, kung ano yung measurement nito, eto rin dito. At ganun din naman dito. So, we have here x squared plus 3x minus 4. And then, we have here 6x plus 3. So, i-add muna natin to, tapos i-add natin to, saka natin sila i-add pareho. O, kunin muna natin yung length ha. x squared plus 3x minus 4. Plus x squared plus 3x minus 4. So, add natin. Alam nyo na may 1 dyan ha. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. x squared plus 3x plus 3x. 6x and then negative 4 plus negative 4, negative 8. Ito na yung una ha, pero hindi pa yan yung final answer. And then we have 6x plus 3 and then 6x plus 3. Ito naman yung i-add natin kasi dalawang width yan. So you will have here 6 plus 6, you have 12x and then 3 plus 3, you have 6. Tapos itong dalawa na to, i-add natin. So ilagay ko na rin dito siya ha. I-align nyo lang. 12x katapat nitong 6x plus 6. Dahil wala itong katapat, bring down lang siya 2x squared plus 12 plus 6. 18x. And then this one, negative 8 plus 6. Dahil magkaiba sila ng sign, hindi pwedeng i-add, isa-subtract. 8 uh, minus 6 is 2. Sinong mas mataas, si 8 or si 6? Si 8. Kaya negative. Ayan na siya. Okay, for number 4. From the sum of 5x cubed plus 8x squared minus 6 and 3x squared plus 4x plus 9, take away 6x squared plus 2x minus 6. So, ito, take away mo daw siya sa sum nitong dalawa. Ibig sabihin, you have to add this first bago nyo ay minus ito. So, how are we going to do that? Tingnan natin ha, dapat sila ay... Similar sa pag-arrange natin. Ito may 5x cubed. Ito wala. 8x squared. You have this one. 6. Ito yung kapartner niya. So, may vacant tayo for 5x cubed sa kakay 4x. Oh, so, paano natin isusulat yan? We have here 5x raised to 3 plus 8x squared. Okay? Dahil may x ito at susunod na constant, maglagay kayo ng vacant slot dyan. Para dito. And then, you have negative 6. And then, ito, katapat niya si x squared. ba Dapat kasimilar niya. Ayan. And then, plus 4x plus 9. And then, we add. Okay. So, dahil ito ay walang katapat, bring down lang. Ayan. And then, we add 8x squared plus 3x squared. So, this is positive. Pareho sila. So, we add. We have 8 plus 3 is 11. Then, copy lang to x squared. And then, this one, wala rin siyang katapat. So, bring down lang. Copy lang. We have 4x. And then, negative 6 added to positive 9. Different sign sila. So, ang gagawin ninyo ay subtract. So, 6 minus or 9 minus 6 is 3. Sino mas mataas? Si 9 or si 6? Si 9. Kaya, positive siya. Okay, saka natin isa-subtract ito. Minus, o oh, dapat magkakatapat ha, 6x squared, dito siya kay x squared. Okay, and then plus 2x minus 6. Pero alam nyo naman na kapag nagsa-subtract tayo, we are doing k, c, c. So, we keep this one, we change this one, and we change all of this. Kaya kung i -re -re write natin ito, magiging... O, kopyahin ko muna yung nasa taas sa 5x cubed plus 11x squared plus 4x plus 3 kasi keep nga siya. And then you add it with, okay, change ito from positive magiging negative x, uh, 6x squared. And then from positive magiging negative 2x. And then from negative magiging positive 6. Okay, and then, dahil wala itong katapat, baba lang ulit. 5x cubed. And then, 11x squared plus negative 6x squared. Dahil sila ay magkaiba, eh di ma-minus natin. So, you will have here, 11 minus 6 is 5x 
raised to 2, ang sign nila ay positive kasi mas mataas si 11. And then, we have here 4x plus negative 2x. So, magkaiba ulit sila. So, we subtract 4 minus 2, you have 2. Ano ang sign? Dahil mas mataas yung 4 and use the sign of the bigger number. So, you have positive here. And then, you have here 3 plus 6. Pareho sila. So, you add 3 plus 6 is 9. Okay, so we have plus 9. O, ayusin ko ha, baka malito kayo. Kasi yung x ko nakaganyan. Okay, so this is 2x plus 9. Ayan na ang sagot nyo. O, ganyan lang ang gawing, ano ha, procedure dyan sa modules ninyo para mabilis kayong masagutan. And then, what should be added to 4x cubed plus 5x squared minus 8? to have the sum of 3x raised to 3 plus x squared plus 7. Ibig sabihin, ano daw yung i-a-add ko dito para makuha ko ito. Ngayon, para lang ganito yan. Kung meron na akong 2, ano yung i-a-add ko sa kanya para makuha ko si 10? O, isipin nyo, di ba mag-a-add ako ng 8? Pero paano kung makukuha na 8 yung sagot? Yung 10 na sum nila, i-minus mo si 2. Kaya makukuha mo si 8. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin. etong sum niya na 3x raised to 3 plus x squared plus 7, i-minus mo yung given mo na ito. So, magiging minus 4x raised to 3 plus 5x squared minus 8. O, parehong-pareho yan ha. O, x cubed, x squared, tas constant. Pero alam naman natin na kapag tayo ay nagma-minus, we are doing KCC. So, we keep, we change, and then we change all of this. Kaya kung i-rewrite natin yan, this will be 3x raised to 3 plus x raised to 2 plus 7. And then plus, o ano ngayon ito? From positive, magiging negative 4x raised to 3. From positive, magiging negative 5x raised to 2. From negative, magiging positive 8. Okay, and then we add. Dahil magkaiba sila, di ba, ng sign, we are going to subtract. So, what is 3? Eh, 4, sorry, what is a 4 minus 3? You have 1, di ba? Pero dahil 1 na lang siya and you have this variable, no need to write kasi invisible naman siya. And then, ano ang sign natin? Ito positive, ito negative. So, our sign here will be negative. Okay, so we have here naman x squared plus negative 5x squared. Okay, dahil magkaiba sila ng sign, isa subtract natin. Alam natin na may 1 dito, di ba? Invisible 1. So, 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 x raised to 2. Ano ang sign na gagamitin ko? Yung para sa 1 or yung para sa 5? Siyempre, yung sa mataas, which is negative. Ayan, yung nasa 5. And then, we have here 7 plus 8. Dahil ito naman ay parehong positive, we can add 7 plus 8 and that is 15. So, your answer will be this one. Ayan! Ngayon, kung nagustuhan nyo ang video na ito at nakatulong ito sa ino para may matutunan kayong bago at mas madalian kayo dyan sa mga modules nyo, please i-comment yan dyan sa baba ha? Kailangan ko kasi yung mga comments nyo para ma-up itong video na ito at makita pa ng mas marami pang estudyante at matulungan din natin sila. Kaya please tulungan nyo ko kahit simpleng thank you lang okay na malaking tulong na ito para sa video natin. At syempre, huwag kalimutang i-share sa iba ha? Huwag salohin ang kaalaman kasi nga, let's Spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!